Located a short drive from Newfoundland's capital city of St. John's, you'll find the town of Cape Royal and the home of Stan Cook's Sea Kayaking Adventures, a well-known family-run business that's been sharing coastal experiences with visitors for over 40 years. I was very lucky. My father started doing adventures in 1970. So myself and my sisters tagged along. We were involved in paddling and hiking and just going all around the island, which was a great way to grow up. And as we got older, we eventually became free labor for him. So we got into the guiding portion of it as well. Up until then, we had done a lot of trailering. So it was very nice to be mobile. But I felt that we really should have a permanent location. They came out and they said to me, Dad, the next, come up. It's, you have to see this place. We didn't paddle. 15 minutes when you see these beautiful cliffs and then you go around and actually you see this waterfalls like oh my gracious isn't this neat that's i got a, i said this is it <laughs> 15 minutes until i said this is it and it only began there little did we know that as we went out further it got even more interesting i've been in, in this little cove having lunch and had five and six seven humpback whales right in here just going crazy so your check boxes you had Beautiful coastline. Yes. You had small town, small yes. village. Yes, cultural you had stuff. Icebergs, whales, yes. caves, yes. arches, waterfalls, waterfalls, yes. and, and calm conditions. Yeah, protected. and you checked off yes. all those. Yes, so I boxes. checked off all yeah. those. All in all, in all the places I've ever kayaked, what we can do in Cape Royal in two hours. I've never been anywhere yet in the world where you had that same diversity. It's just really, really amazing. Stan Cook's sea kayaking adventures has been around for a long time. I think it was in the 70s that things got started. Having not experienced one of their trips before, I was wondering what made it so special. And within 15 minutes on the first trip with them, it was, it was pretty clear. They're not just about going out and, and sea kayaking on the water and, and having a good time paddling. It's, yeah, it's about that, but it's also about, it's about learning, it's about the whole Oceanside experience. I mean, it was really cool the way they took myself and a couple of clients they had right into shore and, you know, really taught us about the, the sea urchins and the, the crabs and, the, and just the, the, the life underwater. And I don't think there's anything they enjoy more than sharing that knowledge. They th I think they enjoy that more than paddling itself. So this little bit of orange stuff right here, this is the uni. So if you ever go to a sushi bar, I don't know how much sushi you guys eat. Usually a couple of teaspoons of this is about 30 bucks, $35. It's usually pretty expensive. Often it's the most expensive thing to have on the menu. It kind of starts off like a salty mussel. And then it has a bit of a fruity, it's lovely. like a cantaloupe or a honeydew-ish, like a little it's melony good. taste. Yeah. yeah, so basically you're eating caviar. That's the caviar from the, uh, the sea urchin. People expect to go on a kayak tour. They don't expect to learn so much. They don't expect to have sea urchins open in front of them. They don't expect to see lobsters or hold crab. So that's a big part of what we do, and it's a big part of what differentiates us from almost everyone else that offers kayaking tours, because people get in the kayak, and you go paddle, and you say, paddle to that rock, and turn around and come back. Ours is an exploration that we do with guides, and our guests love it. It's very interesting for us and all my guides I work with that the people that are most blown away are usually locals. Tourists come here and expect the whales to be amazing and the cliffs and the coastline. They have this preconceived notion, which we're lucky, it's true and it's very authentic, but the locals are like, holy moly, I didn't know we had this here. Like I've been down in Florida, I've been to Dominican, I've been to Cuba, and this is better. I didn't know this is in my own backyard. You've been on Cape Royal 200 times. You're sick of looking at me, hard to believe, but you're sick of looking at me. You've learned a good bit. Why do you want to take a boat, shove it down there, and go out. Why? There's one thing that changes every trip. One thing, the people. And every trip, the person comes to you and says, oh, geez, I get goosebumps. They come to you and they say, this is my special day. Here, I'm giving it to you. Not only that, look, here's my credit card, boy, look. She's nearly, she's nearly max, but try your luck on it. And you can take these people off and bring them this joy and that's what's important. They come back to our little store, they don't want to leave. That says so much. I mean, when people are that way, so what is that saying? You're doing something pretty neat. And this, that's pretty neat to do something pretty neat. Like I say, Newfoundland is the Mount Everest of Canada. After us, it's all downhill.